Hey folks, this is Kyle from Vehicle Identification Specialist. Uh, over my shoulder today is our project vehicle, a 1960 Chevrolet Corvette convertible, completely burned. Uh, let's get into identifying this vehicle. All right, uh, first thing we wanna do is look for what we call the public VIN on this particular vehicle in 1960. Uh, it was not a dash VIN. They did they uh, did something different. It's not in the driver's side door pillar like previous years. They moved it under the hood to the steering uh, uh, shaft. It's usually welded here. Uh, it is gone. I'm guessing it was gone before the fire. It doesn't look like there's any evidence of, uh, of uh, altering there. So that's gone. So our next point of ID, we want to look at this V8. It's supposed to have a 283. This appears to be a 283, but the numbers are not matching to the title that was submitted. Um, we found some uh, date codes and some numbers here that identify this as a 64 to 68 283 Chevrolet, 195 horse engine that's not uh, original to the, to the chassis. Uh, the four speed Muncie transmission is still in place. Um, that is also not the original piece. That is from a 1967 uh, vehicle that comes back to, that's date coded 67 with a little serial number on the side. So um, that doesn't get us to where we wanna be. So then we go to our confidential VIN stamps, which are on the frame of this vehicle. And I'm gonna show you what they look like, but I don't wanna show you where. Uh, that just kinda goes against the, uh, the code of vehicle identification. Uh, those are considered confidential, but I will show you uh, what they look like. Okay, what you're looking at after we dug the fire out is uh, the frame stamps are still here. It took us some time to uh, find them. That's double stamped, which is normal on the frame rail. Uh, I've outlined them here in black marker. Here's one. Here's the second one just forward of it. And uh, those do match uh, the title that was submitted for this vehicle. So we're very comfortable with, uh, with the identification on this vehicle. Now, if you wanted to scoop this vehicle up for a cheap price, I would guess that you could probably get, um, you know, that Muncie four speed, if it's still usable, uh, you can get 500 bucks for that thing uh, any day of the week. I don't know if the 283 here is, uh, is still usable, but possibly so. So there's our project for today. We have identified this 1960 Corvette convertible.